Today we're talking about avionics and making parts um, that go into potentially aircraft engines. Um, we've been producing a series of videos, I'm here with Lee Scott from Starag, all about the aerospace industry, the difficulty and challenges with machining different materials, and also how you make certain parts on the aircraft. So be sure to check out our YouTube channel and our website to see all the other episodes. Lee, avionics is quite a, a, a big subject, um, but what we're talking about here is the machines that you use and why you use them to make certain parts for, for avionics. Can you maybe explain really what these parts would be? Yeah, I mean, we, we would um, maybe, maybe widen the, 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 the spectrum a little bit. So avionics, fuel injection systems, if you like, small control systems components. For, for, for aircraft. So typically um, multi-axis, multi-functional machine tools required to produce a complete component from a bar. So it could be a small turn part, could be a lot of uh, predominantly meld part, could be grinding on it. We're, we're, we're trying to produce something very accurately in, 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 in um, the most cost-effective manner. And we've spoken about in these other episodes about the machining of different materials, titaniums, aluminiums, the challenges involved. Would parts that we talk about here within the avionics be made from similar materials or different? All of those materials, but also materials like uh, steels as well, because th there's lots of shafts and gears and typical um, precision turned components and ground components as well. And what I notice, and from what we can see on the footage, I'm envisaging a lot of one hit machining, a lot of multi, multi-axis multi work, trying to make parts in one operation, which I suppose with these being parts for aircraft critical components, you've got to get right first time. And by doing everything in one operation, kind of achieves that, doesn't it? Is that one of the reasons you select this type of machine? It's exactly that. It's, it's, cycle time is important, of course, but a very safe, reliable process is probably more important and being able to guarantee that those components are right first time, every time and always repeat uh, when, when they're in a, an aircraft is, is critical. And probably made in volume as well, I assume. So you need an element of automation. I mean, what is this particular machine we're looking at here and would it come with that automation in order to keep it running? They're made in volume in terms of they're made in batches and they are automated, but they're not super high volume as, as in some other industries. What sort of machine is this one though, Lee? This, this, is, a, um, this is a Boomatec 191 Neo machine. So uh, we've got a vertical spindle little holder turning tool or milling tool, and we'll have all of this orientation. It's parting off now as we speak, main spindle and a sub spindle. So what we're doing now is we're transferring the component from side one to side two so that we can finish it off and then it gets taken away and we start again with the bar. And when I look at these sort of parts, Lee, on an, on an aircraft, I'm not thinking that there is much volume in associated with the, the difference of parts. So it might not be the biggest part of the aerospace sector for you, but quite an interesting one and quite an important one. It's an important one because it requires uh, a very accurate, stable machining process, which, which is perfect for us. But on every aircraft, there are several components like this, so there's certainly a market for it. There you have it. So if you want to catch up on all of the episodes where we've spoken about um, different aspects of the aerospace sector, so we've talked about the machining of different materials, and we've talked about lots of the parts that are made by Starag machines on aircraft, you can catch those across our YouTube channel and our website. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you.